Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Trade Day Results and today we're going to be checking the results for seven of the centermen that we have up, the amazing centermen trade day block that we just posted out yesterday and now I'm going to check it. I want to apologize to you guys in advance to whoever sent in a trade. Uh, I said I would be checking them at around 9 or 10 p.m. and it's already 11 p.m. so I want to apologize about that. My sleep schedule, like I said, has been a little bit off so um, I've been kind of you know, slacking off on making the video until a little bit later, until all the way now, I went out to buy some groceries and stuff like that. Uh, so I'll be doing a little bit of cooking after. Wait, 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 quick thing before we start. If you want to buy some cheap NHL coins, check out NHL Coin Market in the link in the description box below. Use Chops for a 5% discount. Anyways, we got 35 trades on Jonathan Tave, 31 on Evgeny Malkin, Anze Kopitar with 15, Matt Duchesne 24, Claude Drew 25, Patrice Bergeron 25, Tyler Sagan 17. And of course, we have 172 trade offers on 7 of those players. But if you don't know what the series is, it's basically me just accepting trade offers for these really high-end expensive players, for at least players like Jonathan Taves, Malkin, Kopitar, Duchesne, Drew, and Bergeron for this episode. So... We're going to get this going. We're going to start from the back first before we make our way to the front. I don't know how long it's going to take me because I did check out some of the values for some of the trades already just to prepare myself for this 22 or 23 minute run. Uh, but other than that, we're going to get this going. So just sit back, relax, and watch some of the trade offers. So first off is Tyler Sagan, 88 overall center playmaker. I put him up for 40000 but I did buy him. I think I, think I bought him exactly for 40000 from the market. I, I kind of went right into the market and just bought the players, so I don't exactly remember the prices, but first one up is Corey Crawford with 25k, not a bad deal that's getting you about, what, 30k? So we're looking for 40, alright? So Patrick Marlowe and Thornton, that doesn't add up to 40. I'm thinking the first offer is a little bit better, but we'll delay it. Wheeler, Niemi, Giordano, JVR, we can definitely uh, reject that. The first two offers are definitely better. And then right off the bat, Jamie Benn. Uh, he's uh, <laughs> higher overall, and he does play on the Dallas Stars with Tyler Sagan. Uh, Jamie Benn's value, though, is almost exactly the same as Sagan's now, which is kind of surprising. But uh, Jamie Benn is worth around 40 k Alright, so let's keep on going here. Backstrom, Shattenkirk. Bacchus and Thornton, we can definitely tell that's the better offer with the Jamie Benn one. Alright, so anyways, Max Domi, Flurry, JVR, and Fast. Not a bad puck total and players, but I'm not too interested. I'll delay it. Bufflin, Yandel, Voracek, Turris. Uh, not really adding up to the 40k there from what I'm getting with the Jamie Benn. Same with, I think, this deal. A lot of 86, 87 players, but I don't exactly need those guys, unfortunately. Daniels and a leg injury, no thank you. Jokinen, St. Louis, Jersey, a change team, St. Louis. Did he recently go on uh, St. Louis? I, I don't remember. I'm not sure which team we traded him to, but uh, Pavelski and 26. I think that's a bit better than the 25k offer in the beginning. And then we got 25k in Kucherov, HFC, the Hockey Fights Cancer one, with Ekblad and Druin. Unfortunately, Ekblad and Druin don't go for too much, but Kucherov, I think, still goes for at least quick sell. So you're getting about a good 32, 33. But Jamie Benn is still the leading one. And Mark andre Fleury, there is a 90 edition of him. And he's only worth around 20k, unfortunately. So, that's not going to add up for Tyler Sagan. Evander Kane, Bozak, Halak, and Stastny. We also got McDonough and Victor Hedman. Uh, Victor Hedman, I think, is around 10, 15k. Same with McDonough. So, that doesn't really add up to 40k. Kessler is around 22k. I have a list of values uh, that I have in my notepad document, so I can at least calculate some of these prices uh, just a little bit easier. But uh, Ryan Kessler, he's up for, uh, he's worth 22k with the coins. It's about 37 with Koivu. That is also a solid deal. And we also got four fiddlers right there. So we're gonna take the offer of Jamie Ben just because I know his value is there and he is a 90 overall. So there you go. Enjoy your Tyler say again. I will take the Jamie Ben. So pretty good first offer. We still got 17 minutes on John the Taves. I think we'll be able to make through it knowing that I have all the values here already. But uh, Pecorini, we got Pecorini next up, or Patrice Bergeron up next. And he's worth around 45 to 50k. He's not too expensive of a player, but he's still pretty expensive. But Pecorini, he is a worth around, let me see here, 45k. So pretty even deal with that deal. We got Brad Richards, Milestone. I don't exactly need... Uh, Ryan Kessler with 25, so you're getting 50k right there. You got Mike Richards on November card at 31k. Like I said from the beginning of the year, I did not think he was going to get a Team of the Year boost. So I'm going to reject that deal right off the bat. I still don't think he's going to get a Team of the Year player. 
But Jamie Benn with 12k, so you're getting about 52k with that deal. I think that's the leading offer, but even though that is the leading offer, I've taken a Jamie Benn already, so that might be in my considerations there. But okay, next up we got Milestone Gilmore. I'm not exactly sure how much he's worth, but I don't think he's worth too much more than can be worth more than 20, 30k. Bolin, Hamilton, and Kucherov. Not a bad bunch of people. It's just that Gilmore does not interest me. And I'm not sure how much I can sell him for, honestly. So I'm going to kind of delay it for the meantime. I don't think I'm going to take that deal. We got Jason Truba, player of the game. I know he's doing really well in Winnipeg right now. With Henrik Sedin. I don't think Truba's worth 50k, so I'm going to delay that. We got Stanton. We got Seidenberg and Patcher ready. With a solid 16k right there. Unfortunately, Seidenberg and Stanton... Not really going to do in terms of player, so I'm going to delay it. Then we got, a little, what is that? Golden Ticket, uh, winner number five. I don't think I can claim it. I actually, I actually never tried it before. I'm interested in trying, but the most I can get probably is 25k. So I'm going to reject that right off the bat. So I think we're on tab number eight. Let me scroll up here a little bit. But what we got here is Stanton, Seidenberg, Patrick, Ben, and Vlasic. That's not a bad deal. We got Marlo, Luongo, Pavelski, and McDonough. That doesn't really add up to 50 as well. With the Tyler Sagan and 7, that's getting a bit better. That You're getting about 47. But still, the Jamie Benn deal is leading. Uh, next up, Ryan Kessler. He's worth about 22. Uh, Chris Letang worth about 13. So you're getting about 35. With the Pucks, maybe 40-something with Daniel Sedin. Too many players. Too many players. I'm going to reject that deal. I'll delay it for now. But I don't think I will be taking that offer. Next up is Rick the Dick Nash. Worth around 40k. So Patrice Bertrand is worth a little bit more than that. Milestone Gilmore again. Uh, I'm not sure how much he's worth. And I don't want to take the chance at Gilmore. I mean, he has 86 skating, 91 defense, 85 checking. It's kind of weak for a centerman in my opinion. Uh, and I know he's not worth too much, but I will delay it. Beagle, we got <laughs> Bacchus, Gilmore, Landeskog, and Vanek. Same with the legend Gilmore. It does not go for too much anymore. Mark Streit, Crawford. I think Strait's not going to be one of those players that ever receives a team of the year or a hot live in the near future. So, I'm going to delay that as well. I'm probably going to reject it. But uh, Marlo, Hansel, and Boychuk. Sorry about the chair squeak there. Marlo, Hansel, and Boychuk. So, Marlo goes for about 20k, just around there. Marty Hansel, not exactly sure. Boychuk, not exactly sure. But I will delay it. Uh, next up, we got Mike Bossy. And Bossy is worth around 40k with a boosted Philip Forsberg. Not too interested in that deal. Uh, we got four Fiddlers, and we got another Fiddler. All right. So it looks like we got a couple more deals coming in for Patrice Bergeron. But I want to just keep my eye out for Taves. I think I might do that one next just to get it over with. And then we'll start all the way from the top back down to the bottom. But I think I know what deal I'm going to take right off the bat. This deal, once again, Kessler only worth 22 23 k on Xbox. Garland, Yandel, Helm. Not exactly too interested. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Jamie Ben and 12k. I think that's a solid deal uh, for what I'm getting for Patrice Bergeron. So there you go. Enjoy it. And I will move on to the next player. So we got 14 minutes left. I'm going to check Claude Drew next and see what we can pick out here. But first off, we got Zach Parise and 15k. Uh, I think Parise is going for around 30 to 40. Uh, so it's not too bad of a deal. Uh, Hamilton, Krejci, Pavelski. Once again, not too bad of a deal as well. You got Parise in 20. I think he added in a little bit more money. So it's 5k more than the second one there. Or the first one. Which I do like. Krejci Bishop. Uh, we got Petra Angelo. Uh, Petra Angelo is worth around 50,000 with Pavelski and Bowmeister. Not a bad deal, honestly. Uh, I paid around, I think, 60k for Claude Drew. So that is not a bad deal as well. Uh, ben and Hendricks. We got Pavel Datsuk. He's worth around 60k, a good 60 right there. Uh, and then with the 5k, that's a, I like that deal right off the bat. Hoodler, Benino, Bufflin, Landeskog, not too interested in. Bergeron, Richards, Hiller, we already know um, Bergeron's only worth around 50k. Parise, McKinnon, Voracek, and 41k. That is a really, really good deal. I like that more than the Pavel Datsuk. Because I know Pavel Datsuk is worth around 65 maybe to 70k. And then with a Parise, McKinnon, and Voracek with 41k, you're getting about a good 70-80k right there. So I like that deal. Next up, Carlson, Bacchus, Landeskog, and Green. I'm not exactly sure how much Carlson's worth. Maybe 30 at this point, 30 to 35. With the Pucks, not too interested in. Skewen, Victoria Royals, I'm going to reject. Uh, Campbell and 40k, no thank you for that. Bacchus, Backstrom, no, no, no. 
Callahan, Mark Stahl, Carlson, and a solid 56,000 coins. The problem is the other deals are worth more in terms of value-wise. And there we go. We got a Mike Green. Right defenseman, offensive defenseman. I don't think he's worth 60k, but I will delay it. I might have to check a little bit later. I might not have enough time at this point. Claude Drew, I don't want a Claude Drew back just to relist him. Got a couple of uh, jerseys there. Eric Stahl, Luongo, uh, 45k. Lots of coins there, but nothing too special. Next up would be uh, Mr. Marion Hosa, and Hosa's worth around 62. So you're getting about 72k with Hosa. 91 overall. That's not a bad deal. Uh, Parise, Gabrick, Eric Stahl, Myers. And we got four fillers, of course. So, if I'm going to compare both deals, I really like uh, the Parise and the 40k, as well as the last deal. Uh, that's not really, not too much, at least. Uh, let me just see if I can find it. This one, Parise, McKinnon, Vorchek, and 41k. Or the one at the back, which was, let me see. I gotta skip all the way here. This is what I like, well, this is what I hate about the marketplace system. How you have to click the right trigger just to get to your offer. But... I think that Marion Hosa is a little bit better. Honestly, one player, a little bit of pucks, but I know I make my value back for sure with Marion Hosa. So there you go. Enjoy your Claude Giroux. I will take that. I mean, there's too many players in the other one. Vorchek, uh, there was another player there, and of course, uh, Parise and 40k. I don't exactly need that too much. I would just sell it anyways. So we're going to move on to the next player here, and I'm going to move right on into Matt Duchesne. I'm going to wait until Jonathan Taves, but I'm going to hurry up a little bit. So we got 50,000. So uh, Duchesne's worth around 115k. So that's the value I'm looking for. This deal, Rick Nash, 16. Just not enough. Not enough to reach 100k. Same with that deal. I already have a Prize in Jamie Ben. Voracek, I'm not interested in for the HFC one. We got 100k Steen. Getting a bit closer. Getting a bit closer. Uh, Mike Medano, he is worth uh, around, I think around 50k still. 50, 60, so that is not 100k. We got Nathan McKinnon in November, and unfortunately, he has not received one upgrade since the beginning, and he's still an 86 overall, so he's not actually 99 overall. He's boosted, so I don't exactly need him right now in terms of the 86 overall. He's definitely not worth 100k. Next up, we got 93 Bossy, and 93 Bossy is going for around 100k uh, from what I've checked. Not that great of an offer. Honestly, I would rather keep Matt Duchesne. But we got Baxter, Miller, Bacchus, and Pavelski. We got Toffoli, McKinnon, Molson, and we got John Tavares. All right, so Tavares is worth around 105k. He is one overall higher. He is an amazing centerman, and he is worth about 105k. So about Duchesne's value, of course. So that might not be a bad deal to take. Then we got Sakic and Weiss. So Sakic goes for around 70k with the 12.5k, not really adding up. Same with that deal, not really going to add up. Sagan, Gabrick, Hagelin, McDonough, Tatar, and 75k is not going to add up to 100. I like the Tavares deal with the 7k though. And Larson, you're getting the solid 110k coins. I think I might just take the coins on this one. Um, let me just double check. Taylor Hall, I'm not exactly sure how much he's worth. I will have to double check. He, From what I'm seeing here, he's worth about 110k. So this is the better offer when I look at it. So, you know what? I'm going to take this deal. I forgot I got a haul in one of the deals, so I will take that and enjoy your Matthew Shane. And I'll take Taylor Hall and 20k. And the other three players, I don't exactly know who they are. But I gotta hurry this fuck, fucking shit up. Nugent Hopkins, 88 overall. Uh, doesn't go for too much from what I know. Jimmy Howard and Weiss, or Weiss, Stephen Weiss. I'm not sure how well he's doing this year, but he was signed as a free agent last year. But Grabowski, Bickle, Strom, uh, Pecorine, he's worth around 45. So that's a very even deal. And I think that's the deal I'm going to take. The 92 bossy is worth around 45 as well from what I'm seeing here. Let me just double check. Um, let me see. Bossy is 40k right now. So, not the greatest of deals. We got Andre Palat, an 87 overall player of the game. But I'm not too interested in it right now. But if I'm going to take any offer here. Uh, Kessler is worth around 22, 30. With Nielsen, no. Um... 37, Petra Angelo, he's worth around 50k, so that's a very good deal. The Petra Angelo deal is number one from what I'm seeing here. So Kopitar, I put him up for 50k start price. I think he's only worth around 40, but this guy gave me a good deal with Petra Angelo. I'm not I'm pretty sure he's gonna be in the team of the year, so his price might drop a little bit, so I'm gonna just sell it for him. So there we go. Petra Angelo for uh what was his name? Uh Anze Kopitar. Good deal. 
All right, so we got about seven minutes left. I'm really rushing this, guys. So I'm getting Malkin. I'm going to reject the contract right off the bat. I kind of want to see what offers I got. Uh, but right up, we got Lemieux, TJ, Oshie, Dubinsky, and McDonough. So Lemieux is worth just about 270k with Oshie. I don't know how much the player of the game one goes for. I might not be able to have enough time to check. Uh, Dubinsky, not worth too much. McDonough, not too much compared to Lemieux and Oshie and Malkin. Like, these guys aren't worth too much compared to him. But Lemieux and Oshie, do you think we'll add up to 450k? I don't, I don't really think so. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I like the pucks better, but even the pucks don't really uh, convince me enough. I'm gonna reject that second offer with Oshie. Hall, Doughty, Marlowe, and Quick, I can reject that straight up. It's not worth Evgeny Malkin's value. I can just see right off the bat. But we got a couple of jerseys here. That's Tar, Cole, and Zidlicky. I like the Detroit change teams on them. Looks pretty sick. 4K, we got Eric Carlson, Duchesne, Hall, and another Carlson. So I checked up the All-Star game Carlson. Uh, I think it's this one, right? And there are none in the market from what I know. Uh, he's got... It is an all-star game card. He only has a plus one boost, but I'm not sure what his value is. I don't think I'm willing to take the chance. I mean, you're getting about 250, 260k with the all-star game Carlson. So is Carlson all-star game worth around 200k? And I don't want to take the chance. I'm going to reject that straight up. And I'm going to reject the coins as well. I'm not... I'm not too worried about selling Evgeny Malkin a bit later. I did buy him for about 410,000, so I'm looking for around 425 to 430 for him, or at least, or maybe even a little bit less. But next up, we got Matt Duchesne, Pecorini, Kessel, and Carlson. So you're getting about 260 with Kessel. You're getting about uh, 320. Rene, 380 or 360 with Carlson. Uh, not too bad of an offer. Adds up to about 400k, which I like. But I'm not sure if I want to take up the scraps, uh, like four players for Evgeny Malkin. I'm not sure if I want to take the chance to sell him or just wait out the seven minutes and just accept it later. But we got five minutes left. I got to hurry this up. Lemieux and Voracek. So Lemieux is worth 270. Is Voracek worth 180? And he actually might be, so I will delay it. Jamie Ben is going for about, let me see here, Ben Hutt Live, 92 overall, is going for 200k with Kessel, Ginla, Modano. I can reject, does not add up to 400k. And then we got this deal I'm going to reject. Kessel, Giroud, Parise, Delay, uh, Tremblay. We got Curry, Krejci. I'm getting down to business here, guys. Lindros and Medano, Carlson, Tang does definitely not add up to 400k, unfortunately. Uh, 34k and Zetterberg, Hall, and Holpe. So Zetterberg is worth around 150k with Hall. You're getting about 160 or 260 with the coins. 300k. Braden Holpe, once again, does not add up to 400k. Just not there. Pavel Datsuk. Getting a bit closer to what I want, but still just not there. I'm going to reject that deal. Make sure that he might be able to send in a uh, at least a counter offer just in case. Same with this deal. Reject that. I just don't want to spend the time uh, rejecting offers because that's going to take way too long, unfortunately. But let's see what else we got here. Contract, contract, Rome, Zetterberg, Hall, and then we got what else? Parise, Sharp, Oshie, Martin St. Louis. We got Patrick Kane, Bork, and 80K. All right. So Kane is worth just about 205k i think with 80k you're getting about 290 with bork bork is worth just around 75k so that does not add up to 400 yager november does not add up to 400k for sure i don't think even if he had a team of the year card that came out he would be worth it uh cory perry bogosian does not add up uh martin broder kessel stall strike does not add up and four fiddlers so you know what i'm gonna delay it I think I'm going to check the trade offers in a little bit because I need to check Jonathan Taves. we got three minutes left. I think we'll make it. All right, so Jamie Benn. I'm going to reject the first deal. Jamie Benn, Parise, and Brad Richards. For If anything, I'm not going to take a deal on Malkin from what I'm thinking. If I, I'm not going to have enough time to check the trade offers. But Jamie Benn, Parise, uh, Richards, not going to add up to at least 600 k That's what he's worth right now. 95 overall, Matt Duchesne and Eric Carlson. I like that deal. Uh, Subban, uh, I'm not sure how much he's worth. With Bobby Ryan Rask, I don't think it's worth around uh, 600k. Lidstrom, Zetterberg, Tatsu, Cromwell, the whole Detroit line for Jonathan Taves. But that is not going to add up from what I'm seeing there. I'm going to reject that straight up. Lots of solid deals, guys. I like that. Uh, let me see here. Anderson, Mr. Baldy, no thanks. That is the leading offer for, for right now. I think Duchesne's worth around 500k with Carlson. I think I might take that chance. Medano Hurdle. Giroux, Lucic, Sanch, and Hedman. I'm going to reject that straight up. All right, it looks like the dots are going down a little bit. So Carlson, Shankar, Thornton, Bowmeister, 
Corey Perry in 25. This guy on Twitter wanted me to at least think about this offer, or at least reject it so he can send in a counter offer. But I'm not too interested in November Corey Perry. He might be in the team of the year, and I might be wrong about that. But I want to take a chance at November Duchesne instead. I think it's a better chance at least to uh, get a team of the year card. Maybe not. I don't know. I checked out his stats for Matt Duchesne, and it's it's a it's a pretty big toss up. You know, Matt Duchesne might receive a team of the year card. But if I sell him off early, I'll make my value of Jonathan Taves, which I kind of want. So going on here, Parise Kessel, 30, 37,000, does not add up to 600. We got some logos there, Carey Price, Tavares, Duchesne, Datsu, does not add up to 600k. Whole Bostonian lines, but uh, just a little bit off. So Kane, Tavares, Duchesne, and Parise. Once again, this is about 480k, does not add up to around the 600. Movember Tarasenko, maybe one of, the team, uh, one of the cards that might receive a team of the year. But I'm not going to take Jonathan Taves for that deal, unfortunately. You might want to trade to someone else. But 200k, Duchesne 300, Hall 400, Keith 500, reject or delay. Uh, not that bad of an offer. Like what? Like I said, it's not a bad offer, but there's only one minute left for me to check trades here. I don't want to spend too much time on each one. Seabrook, Evgeny Malkin, Sakic, and Placanitz. Alright, so Malkin's around 420. So Sakic is also worth around... Let me see here. Sakic is worth around 70, so you're getting about 490. That does not add up to 600 once again. Fiddler, Fiddler, Fiddler. <laughs> oh my god, all the Fiddlers. I've already seen all the Fiddlers already from my checking my troll trades, but I think I know what deal I'm going to take here. And it's going to be the first one. Not this one. Matt Duchesne and Eric Carlson. I think Duchesne's still worth around 400k from what I know. Carlson, All-Star Game. Might be worth the risk. Might be worth the risk. So, I'm going to take this deal. Uh, uh, 18 seconds. Come on, come on. What, what am I going to do here? What am I going to do? Yep. You know what? There it is. Enjoy your Jonathan Taves. I will take Duchesne and Carlson. There it is. Enjoy. So next up is Evgeny Malkin. 20 seconds left. And I don't think I will be able to take an offer for this one. Duchesne, 200. Yep. Just uh, not enough time for me. 150k, 200, 260, 300, 400k for Matt Duchesne. I mean, if I really want to take an offer, I think that might be just that one. Um... You know what? I think I'm going to take it. 150, 200, 260, 370. Yep, there you go. Enjoy your Evgeny Malkin, and I will take those four players. I don't like taking four for ones, but in light of this trade date, for you guys sending in such great offers, I'm just going to take an offer that uh, will lose me a little bit of money from buying Evgeny Malkin. But you know what? At least we got every single trade accepted. So I hope this trade date wasn't too long. I'm not sure if I'm going to break it up into two parts, but... It should be one part from what I know. But if you did enjoy this video, please leave it a like. I know these videos videos are very popular uh, on my channel. So leaving a like will definitely help um, me post out more in the future. But we end up with 500,000. I want to do a little bit of a recap of what players we picked up. Alright, so we are at the recap of what players we have picked up. And we picked up Jamie Ben worth around 40k. Carlson worth about 100. Like I said, I wasn't willing to take the risk if he was worth 200. We got Matt Duchesne also worth around 450. So I didn't lose out too much, but it was worth the risk, right? Maybe Matt Duchesne might be worth a bit more. I'll take my chance on that one. We got Ben again, Rene, Duchesne, Petra Angelo. We got another page here of just players. Taylor Hall, Phil Kessel, another Carlson, and Marion Hosa. That should add up to about a mil uh, plus in terms of value there. But anyways, that is all about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Let's see what we got here. We got Ouellette. We got Strike. Oh my god! No fucking way. No fucking way. No. No. Zero available. Last price sold to zero and we picked up a new